previously on Maggie. And this is just like Devin. I trust him with one little thing, and this is what I get. Art, the man had a heart attack. Oh, he'll be fine. He's a cockroach. What would you think of uh, me and Dr. Myers going out? What is wrong with you today? Maybe I'm tired of being lied to. What are you talking about? Kim Reed. She's my therapist. Orange juice? Nope. You know, you didn't have to sleep on the couch last night. I don't know how anybody's supposed to sleep on that thing. Oh, please, it's one of the most comfortable fold-out couches they make. It folds out? <laughs> never mind. I'm fine. Just one more thing you never bothered to tell me. Art, I owe you an apology. I should have told you I was seeing a therapist. Well, you know, I think if you had problems, you could have talked to me. I know, honey, but sometimes when I'm trying to talk to you, you seem preoccupied. You're saying I don't listen? No, I know you mean to. It's just that you get so caught up in work. It's like I don't exist unless I'm standing right there in front of you. Dr. Day. Oh. No, it's OK. I authorized that. Increase the dosage by half. <laughs> what were we talking about? That, right there. I disappear whenever work comes up, because work is important and I'm not. But that's not true. Yes, it is. And that's what I talk about in therapy. I feel like you don't know who I am anymore. It's like you have this frozen image of me as this 20-year-old girl you married. You know, I'm getting pretty tired of, the, of this different person stuff just because you're going to school and working. You, you're the same person who just happens to be going to school and working. You should be taking that therapy money and giving it to me. <laughs> She makes a good pet, and there's plenty for her to eat at my place, because there's lots of flies. <laughs> I, I didn't ask. Yeah. Okay, take that, it'll be fine. Dr. Myers, this is Ted. His frog won't lay eggs. And that's the only thing weird about her. Otherwise, she's just your average frog, perfectly legal in all 50 states. <laughs> that's why I want, you know, hundreds of them. What can I do? Wow, this is a Bufo alvarius. It's commonly known as the uh, Colorado River Toad. <laughs> I wouldn't know about that. I just call it Rowdy. <laughs> yeah, well, Rowdy here secretes a powerful psychoactive substance called DMT. Mm. Causes hallucinations. <laughs> which is why it's illegal to own her. Hey, um, I'm, whoa. I mean, she's my pet. I just keep her because I love her. Uh-huh. Enough to uh, lick her? <laughs> Only to clean her? Water makes her... You know, it's actually a very serious problem, frog basing. Hi, Amy. Hi. Well, aren't you gonna ask me about my date? I'm sorry, what? My date with Richard. Do you want to know how it turned out? Oh, yeah, how'd that go? Hold on to your hat. Just friends. <laughs> oh, well, that's great, right? <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear me. Just friends. Does it suck or what? <laughs> Give me globby glue. <laughs> my hair's on fire. <laughs> What? <laughs> You're not even listening. Oh, I'm sorry, Amy. I'm just going through this thing with Art. I'm so mad. Oh, really? Tonight, he and I are going to have it out. 20 years of frustration and unresolved issues. That man is going to get an earful. Issues, huh? Been going to see a therapist? <laughs> Oh, 
Art, I was thinking all day, we are gonna sit down and we're gonna get everything out in the open. Hi, honey, how was your day? What? Just answer me naturally. Uh, fine. Why are we doing this? Good, glad to hear it. Look, I have a lot to say to you too, but right now, Dr. Devin's in the living room. How was your day? What the hell is he doing here? Can't complain. He dropped by the son of a bitch. <laughs> Just act normal. Damn! John! Hello, Maggie. Oh. What a nice surprise. <laughs> I just wanted to drop in on my favorite heart surgeon, beside myself, the man who saved my life. <laughs> That's quite a fella you've got. Oh, don't I know it. Mind if I grab myself a brew? John, you just had a heart attack. Isn't that dangerous? Let the man have his brew. <laughs> It's hard to believe this little guy is actually a drug. Hey, Dr. Myers, you don't have to turn him in tonight, do you? What are you saying? Oh, nothing. I just thought maybe you and I could go park somewhere, put on some Zeppelin, and get totally frog-faced. <laughs> Amy. I know, I know. Friends can't lick frogs together. Sorry. No, it's good to know the boundaries. Good. Do me a favor, open the uh, lid to this holding tank room. Sure thing, pal. Glad to see that you're not at all bitter by this. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh my God! Are you okay? Oh, yeah, fine. Oh, ooh, I'm sorry. Did I show the appropriate amount of concern there, or <laughs> was I crossing one of your uh, arbitrary lines? You know. You know what? Good night, Amy. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, maybe you shouldn't be sucking your hand like that yeah. after handling that frog. I'll be fine. Bye. <laughs> She worries too much. <laughs> oh, no. I couldn't have got that much on my hands. I can't believe I'm hallucinating. <laughs> OK. I can handle this. I don't live far from here. I'll just walk home and sleep it off. I'll watch the office. Thanks. I think I'll wait till the office comes to a complete stop. John, is it safe to be up and around so soon after a bypass? Are you kidding? Even Art knows the heart's the strongest muscle in the body. Here, hit me in the chest. I don't think so. Go on, you won't hurt me. Strong like bull. Maybe later. Suit yourself. So, to what do we owe this little visit? Well, I know I should have called ahead, but uh, I wasn't interrupting anything, was I? Well, we were well, about actually, to have... Good, was... good. <laughs> because there's, there's something I, uh, something I want to get off my chest. Art, you and I have known each other for years, and in that time, we've enjoyed a good-natured rivalry. Well, I wouldn't say enjoyed, or good-natured. <laughs> well, I, I know I tease you a lot, but... For a brief moment on that operating table, when I looked up and saw you working on me with your Fisher-Price instruments, just like a real surgeon, I, uh, I realized I don't give you enough credit. Well, I can see all that's changed. Seriously, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Well, down the hatch. <laughs> oh, good, you brought Barney Fife. Maggie, Maggie, listen to this. Yeah. This is Barney Fife doing heart surgery. We gotta stop here. I gotta get these scissors back to Floyd. <laughs> okay, we've all heard Barney and heard him and heard him. What, are you saying I do him too much? John, I watched a man take himself off life support because you wouldn't stop doing it. <laughs> His loss! <laughs> well, Art, now you know how people feel when you do your Johnny Carson. Oh, well, at least my Johnny Carson actually sounds like him. Oh, now you're just crazy. <laughs> oh, so you think I'm crazy? Well, if I'm crazy, maybe I should be seeing a therapist. You know, I saw a therapist for a while when I was married. Oh, really? And did you find that an outside person helped the relationship? No, no, complete waste of time. Oh, really? So you would have been better off saving your money and just talking to your spouse? Not really. No amount of talking can bridge a 25-year age difference. <laughs> Got any crackers? I 
was my mother's ambivalence toward me, which eventually caused me to be attracted to emotionally distant women. Your wife, for example. Hey, you are one perceptive toad. You don't need to stroke me. <laughs> Although, not all women I'm attracted to are like my wife. You're talking about Maggie. What did you say? You heard me. Maggie. Maggie. How do you know about Maggie? Surprise, surprise, the talking frog got inside your head. You think about her all the time, don't you? Yes, I do. I'm in love with her. Why? 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 Where do I start? I love that she's so curious about everything. And how when I joke with her, she jokes right back. And how emotional she gets over every single animal in this place. And her laugh. You should hear her laugh. I think if you could get addicted to a sound, I'd be addicted to that one. Oh, God. I think I'm going to throw up. I didn't think it was that bad. No, I really think I'm going to throw up. Lightweight. At least I'm warm-blooded. So it was love at first sight? Uh, no, it... It didn't really start right away. I remember this one night, a few months ago, she came in drunk at three in the morning to show me a tattoo. There's a girl you take home to mother. <laughs> I mean, it was such a goofy thing to do, and it was a pie. I mean, how sweet is that? From that moment, I was gone. Does she know? She has no idea. Are you going to tell her? No. Why not? Because she's married, for one thing. And... Besides, it would make things uncomfortable. It would ruin whatever relationship we do have. Tough one. Tell me about it. Hey, aren't you getting kind of hungry? You know, I am. Is there anything to eat around here? Uh, well, just these uh, dog biscuits. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. <laughs> You're my best friend. I know. More scotch there, Art. Huh? I get it myself, but I just had a massive heart attack. <laughs> I love you. I've always loved you. What? I'm serious. I'm in love with you. Is this a joke? I, I have never been more serious in my life. You want this on the rocks? Absolutely. <laughs> I must have you. Where can we go? Okay. okay, this is the drink talking. No, I'm as sober as a judge. Okay, then it's the heart attack. Maybe you're having a reaction to the medication. It's the heart attack, all right. It's, it's clarified my thinking. You're the only thing Art has that I'm, that I'm actually jealous of. I, I could always buy a bigger boat, which I did, or, or live in a nicer house, which I do. But I, I could never find a woman like you. You're actually serious. When Art first married you, you were this shy, mousy thing, this wet noodle, a dish rag, a complete locks. I, I get the idea. But in the, in the last few years, you, you've blossomed. I, you, you have opinions. You're, you're confident. Damn it, Maggie, you're interesting. I believe that you're sober, but this is still wrong. Ever since I got out of ICU, all I can think about is making you mine. I've even been carrying this picture around. Where did you get this? Art's locker at the hospital. Art keeps a picture of me in his locker? Not anymore. I also took a 20 to make it look like the janitor did it. He keeps my picture at work? So what? If he really thinks he deserves a woman like you, he's living in a fantasy world. <laughs> This has been going on for months. I see you at office parties and awards dinners, usually for me. And I, I think to myself, Art doesn't appreciate what he has. Really? 
Yes, a woman who wants to get it on all day, all night, anytime, any place. My God! Nailed it right in the head, didn't I? Get out of my house! What? I said you were interesting. Do you want to tell him or should I? Tell me what? There is nothing to tell. Art, I want your wife. <laughs> okay. Art, he's serious and insane. Although even he noticed that I'd had some personal growth over the last few years. I'm sorry, Art, but there's no time to do this the honorable way. You know, seeing her behind your back, satisfying her in your bed, probably for the first time. <laughs> oh, my God! I massaged your heart! Well, thanks. Now, uh... <laughs> the other thing, yes, no, what? John, it's time for you to go, unless you want me to throw you out. Like you could. <laughs> Try me. Okay, both of you stop it. Stay out of this, Maggie. This one's been coming for a long time. <laughs> I should warn you, I was district wrestling champ in high school. Don't do this. Really? So was I. 13 and 4 record. Don't do this. 14 and 3. <laughs> Best of three falls gets Maggie. My God, I'm living in a Popeye cartoon! <laughs> I'm going to tear you apart. Well, you certainly stitched me loose enough. Right, Thelma Lou? <laughs> you son of a bitch! Oh, Art! Art! Oh, don't stick to his level! Oh. You always refused to play the game his way! Ah. And that's why I loved you! Oh, Maggie, you heard what he said. He talked about making love to you in our bed. But those are words, Art! He said I stitched him loosely! It doesn't mean anything! This is your chance, Maggie. Pack your bags, quit your little job, and come away with me. Little job? Yeah, don't you work in a pet store or something like that? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Kick his ass! You got it, baby! I just don't see how I can keep working with her. Sometimes I think I should just quit. I'm such a wreck. Then I'd never see her again, so that's out. But then I think none of this matters because she's married anyway. Oh, this whole thing is such a mess. Fortunately, I have the answer to this whole mess. Really? It's so obvious. Oh, well, tell me, quick, before I go nuts. All right. What you gotta do is, you listening? Yes, yes. I don't want to have to go through this again because you didn't have a pen or something. I'm listening. All right. You're in love with her. Right. You work with her. Right. All you've got to do is... Yeah? What? All, all I gotta do is what? I didn't get that last part. Wait, Rowdy! Wait, Rowdy, don't leave me! No, Rowdy! No, Rowdy, don't leave me! Symptomatic MRI. Did you even go to high school day? <laughs> yeah, yeah, who's in high school now, smart guy? Maggie, tell him to let me go. <laughs> My heart! No? <laughs> huh, only one sub zero, huh? <laughs> Goodbye, John. So you're staying with this guy? I married you, idiot, and that means something to me. <laughs> what? No, I was just thinking about you lunging at Devon. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you lunge before. I mean, what were you gonna do? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> you know, the girl I married never would have lunged at anyone. Well, I've changed. Huh? So I saw. And I have to admit, I'm impressed. 
and a little afraid. <laughs> Good. Ah. What's that? It's a picture of me. Devin had it. He stole it from your locker. Is that what happened? I thought the janitor did it. <laughs> Art, I didn't know you had a picture of me at work. Of course I do. I take it into surgery. You do? Yeah. It's good luck. I don't remember this. When was it taken? Uh, a few weeks ago. Amanda took it, remember? Come on, to... say cheese, everybody. Ready? Cheese! Come on, you guys. You call those smiles? Think of something happy. Next thing I took, it was under the thing. <laughs> Yeah, I like this picture. There's, uh, there's a look in your eye I haven't seen there for a long time. Hello. Um, I'm from the city. I understand somebody brought in an illegal frog, a buffo alvarius. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to take that in. Mm. How stupid do you think we are? <laughs> All right, Maggie, I'm out of here. Yeah, me too. Hey, aren't you supposed to turn that frog in? No, Amy's gonna take care of it. How about this? It's Ed Sullivan doing heart surgery. Well, I knew right here in our operating room, our really big spleen. All right, no, okay, okay. Here's Ed Wynn doing heart surgery. Well, I was just gonna have to stitch you up here. I, oh, oh, wait, don't you know? Yeah. Uh, I'm, okay, hold on, I gotta know. Chester Arthur at the White House Easter egg roll. Get, get away from those bushes, kids. Tough room. 